Hi, in this clip we'll talk about exponential random variables. Okay, so let's start with the motivating example. Uh, in one rainy day, so recall this is the same example as the Poisson case. Okay, so in, in one rainy day, you observe that on average you hear three lightnings uh, per 10 minutes. That is, uh, if you think about the number of events, um, this is the so in this the first part we talk about the the number of events so there are three lightnings in for 10 minutes and uh, if you think about this on average you have to wait between uh, two lightnings you have to wait for about uh, 3 point um, 3, 3, 3 uh, minutes before you see the next lightning okay so if you want to model this wait time okay so how are we going to do that Okay, um, if you look at another example, if you think about the customer kiss, okay, so if we know that on average in one hour, in one hour, um, a particular restaurant has 10 customers, uh, so the period of time between two customers is on average is ten, six minutes, okay, so how can we model this uh, period of time, okay, P for poor song, we we model the number of events, right? For this, we want to model the time between two customers. Okay, so if you think about Poisson, so you fix the period of time and you want to the, 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 to model the number of events. So it's going to be discrete random variables because it's going to be an integers, right? Because you want to count the number of events. But in this case, we want to model this, uh, this period of time between uh, two events. Like between uh, you start think uh, thinking about this, and this this might be one uh, random variables, one instant of the random variables. Okay, all right. So uh, how are we gonna do that? So let's use the way we model the number of events in 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 the Poisson case as the guideline. Okay. So in the Poisson case, we let's look at the first uh, approach. Uh, we uh, partition the period okay into uh, 10 one minute periods okay and assume that lightnings occur independently so instead of just one so we have 10 and we wanna because we use the same model right so we can think of this as uh, we can define an indicator and number about to be one if there's a lightning and if it's zero otherwise okay so um, for Poisson distribution if you want to count the number of time events occur we can use binomial random variables uh, bi binomial random variable to model this number of events okay and we can take the limit okay so but we just wait that for for now okay so if we want to um, we want to model the wait period instead so in this case so we want to model like how long do we need to wait until we first see this Okay, how are we gonna do that using the same kind of uh, modeling? Okay, um, so this is the end of the first segment. Uh, you should um, think about this, and and again, this is related to something we we have uh, discussed before. So I guess that maybe you might be able to come up with the way to model this uh, wait period thing. Okay, so you see you in the next clip. Bye.